Alright guys, the championship isn't slowing down, we've got a full fixture list coming up in midweek and we are here today to preview all of those matches. Along with speaking about the games coming up in midweek, we'll also be touching on all of the weekend's action as well, some massive talking points to go through in today's video and as always want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. But without any further ado, let's jump in. Starting out with a really interesting matchup at the den as Millwall go up against Leicester. Now had a feeling that Millwall might have gone into that game against Huddersfield at the weekend and played for a point. Seemed like that template was going to plan up until the last minute when Reese Healy pops up with a winner for Huddersfield. And that result for Millwall really does damage their survival hopes. Properly drags them back into the relegation mix. Now just a two-point gap between themselves and the bottom three. And considering they've got Leicester in midweek, things aren't going to get much easier for them in this fixture. In terms of Leicester, it's amazing how quickly the narrative and momentum can shift at the top end of the championship in just a few days. For Leicester, it was a perfect weekend for them got all three points against Birmingham and had to work for the win in that game and then they also saw the likes of Ipswich and Leeds losing and Southampton also dropping points as well coming into this one you'd think that Leicester will look to start rolling in the results now keep that momentum up for these final matches and if they do manage to do so will secure one of those top two spots Millwall will try and make it ugly and tough for them but I do think Leicester's quality will show here. Score prediction for me, going to go 2-0 to the Foxes, which really would leave Millwall in it. Next then to Plymouth up against QPR. Boy, did Plymouth need that result on Friday night. Managed to get it over the line in the end, a 1-0 win over Rotherham, relegating them in the process and keeping their head above water and above the relegation zone for the time being. Honestly, not sure how I see this game unfolding. Bit disappointed with QPR over the weekend against Sheffield Wednesday. Thought that that was a real opportunity to almost guarantee their survival. I think had they won that game against Wednesday, would have put them onto 49 points. I think that will just about keep you up this season. But still with a bit of work to do on the back of that loss. How do I see this game unfolding? See it being fairly tight. In general, QPR have been a little bit better on the road than they have been at home all season. And Plymouth haven't had the best of times at home park recently. With all that being said, I think it's going to be tight and I wouldn't be surprised if it ends level. Score prediction, going to go for a 1-1 draw between these two. Next then to Deep Dell 4, Preston up against Huddersfield. Dare I say it, I think this could be a decent time to be playing Preston. Our playoff aspirations have taken a massive dent over these last couple of games. I can't see us finishing in the top six anymore, having only taken one point from our last two matches against against Watford and Birmingham. And I hope it's not a case where the Preston boys are just on the beach for these final few games of the season, but I do think there is the possibility that that starts to seep into our game, especially with a few key absences, especially in midfield for North End at the moment. Now, with so many sides picking up results in and around the bottom end of the championship over the weekend. It was imperative that Huddersfield got a result over the line against Millwall. Dare I say it, I think that one was a must-win game for Huddersfield. They left it late, but boy, what a moment that was. And what a three points that could be for them come the end of the season as well. Wouldn't rule it out from Huddersfield making it back-to-back -back wins here. I have been really underwhelmed by North End's last two performances now. Taking everything into consideration, though, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this ends level. Score prediction, I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. Next then we go to Hillsborough for Sheffield Wednesday up against Norwich. Both of these teams picking up massive results over the weekend. Sheffield Wednesday going into what was a bit of a must-win game for them against QPR. Managed to get a result over the line and then I think it's honestly just a case of getting through this game against Norwich. I think a point would be a decent result for Sheffield Wednesday before they then have a few winnable fixtures. Back-to-back uh, -back games against Stoke and Blackburn. I have a feeling that Sheffield Wednesday's survival bid this season will be based upon those two games. If they come out of those fixtures with a decent amount of points, there's every chance of survival. Lose those two games. I think Wednesday are down this season. This won't be easy though. While under Danny Roll, Wednesday haven't tended to give much away at Hillsborough. Norwich are just rolling in the results right now. And what a result it was for them over the weekend in the East Anglian Derby. There just seems to be something in the water when Norwich comes 
come up against Ipswich, even when they're under unfavourable circumstances and Ipswich are the side riding high at the top end of the championship. Norwich just have a knack for turning up in those fixtures. It was a well-hit free kick which won it in the end and it seems more than likely that that last playoff spot will be between either Norwich or Coventry with Preston and Hull dropping off a bit in recent weeks. Middlesbrough there and amongst it as well but does feel like that last spot will be between those two sides. Norwich can't afford to let off right now and I have a feeling they just sneak it in this one. Score prediction for me, going to go 2-1 Norwich on the road there. Next then to Southampton up against Coventry. Like we were just mentioning them with Norwich, it does feel like that last playoff spot at the moment is between Norwich and Coventry and what a result it was for the Sky Blues over the weekend against Leeds and it's worth flagging up really just how consistent they've been since around about November it was a bit of a slow start to the season for Mark Robbins men but since November they've only lost 5 of their last 25 league matches and on their day are capable of going toe to toe with anyone in the championship as we saw over the weekend with that fantastic result against Leeds. Do you know what? I may be edging towards Coventry for a result in this one as well. Does feel like it's Southampton things are in danger of maybe falling a little bit flat between now and the end of the season especially on the back of that uh, results against Ipswich when they lost it late on a little bit flat over the weekend against Blackburn in a goalless draw after that game Russ Martin spoke again about making some changes to the side for Coventry in midweek maybe giving a few other players some opportunities so feels like maybe Southampton could take their eye off the ball as they'll have a long term view to be planning for the playoffs now for Coventry every point matters dare I say it I think they may get a win on the road here score prediction why not I'll go 2-1 Cov and for a good counter-attacking display there. Next then we go to Ellen Road and for a big game as Leeds go up against Sunderland. Leeds looking to bounce back from their first defeat of 2024, losing that one against Coventry. Now, while it was a slip in the promotion race, I don't think it was a totally disastrous result given the Ipswich also lost over the weekend. It means they're still only one point behind the tractor boys and if I'm completely honest, between now and the end of the season, I still think that each of Leicester... Ipswich and Leeds they probably all still have a slip within them so there's definitely going to be an opportunity for Leeds to climb above one or both of those sides and vice versa I think there will be quite a bit of switching around between now and the end of the season definitely think that Leeds need to take advantage of the fact that their next two games are at Ellen Road and they've obviously been so strong at home so far this season in saying that I know that Sunderland have been very up and down recently but they've been boosted by the returning Jack Clark a winger who's of making a difference in absolutely any championship match. Back at his former stomping ground at Ellen Road as well. Wouldn't put it past him from coming up with a moment of magic or two in this match. In that being said, I am swaying towards Leeds in this one. With how good they've been at Ellen Road this season, I reckon they'll just about get the job done in midweek. Score prediction for me, going to go 2-1 Leeds, but could see Sunderland getting a goal there. A big game coming up at St Andrews on Wednesday as Birmingham go up against Cardiff. And looking at Blues remaining fixtures this is one of the matches where they need to target three points in my opinion after losing that one against Leicester late on over the weekend and results going against them they have dropped into the bottom three and playing a Cardiff side who don't get me wrong can be very decent on their day but don't have anything to play for at this stage this needs to be a result with the home crowd roaring them on to all three points I have a feeling it's going to be a quite a tight low scoring game similar to Blues' last home game against Preston. Cardiff coming off the back of quite a disappointing showing against Hull. They'll be looking to react to that in this one. But with that being said, got a gut feeling this could be an ugly... 1-0 home win to Blues which keeps them alive in and around the relegation zone. That's what I'm going to go for in this game. 1-0 Birmingham. Next then to Ashton Gate for Bristol City up against Birmingham. Bristol City taking 7 points from the last 9 available. Certainly can't be sniffed at. It was a point on the road last time out against Sunderland. Max O'Leary certainly had to be on top form for that one and Bristol City themselves didn't look to have the most goal threat about them but a point on the road coming off the back of 
two back-to-back -back wins is solid nonetheless. And you know what? I fancy this game against Blackburn to be quite tight as well. Blackburn, who have massively eased their relegation fears with four points from their last two matches. Solid point, I thought, over the weekend for them against Southampton. Bristol City going quite well at the moment, but with how draw-heavy Blackburn have generally been under John Eustace so far, I think I'm edging that way for this fixture. 1-1 one, one between these two. Don't think there'll be much to separate them. Next then to Hull up against Middles. Not much to separate these two sides in the league right now, both on 61 points. They're both in a very similar situation where I do think it would take a flawless run for either of these to make the top six from this point. They'd be dependent on winning the majority of their matches between now and the end of the season and would still be dependent on the likes of Norwich and Coventry dropping the required amount of points. In saying that, I do think we'll get a good matchup between these two over the weekend. Middlesbrough on a really good run of form right now. They're seven unbeaten. That's the second longest unbeaten run in the championship currently. Another good win for them over the weekend against Swansea. Latte Lath making the difference in that game. That's that's now five goals he scored in his last seven matches. But Hull put together a really quite good showing, I thought, against Cardiff. Bit more fluidity in their attacking play, which has been missing in recent weeks. What's been Hull's Achilles heel of late has been their home form. They're without a win in their last five home matches, and that's something that Borough can look to take advantage of. With all that being said... I wouldn't be surprised if this is quite a tight draw. Score prediction. I'm going to go for a 1 1 a whole lover draw at home, don't they? Next, then to Ipswich up against Watford. A massive game in Ipswich's season here because if they want to finish in the top two, I think this game needs to be a win. Coming off the back of a defeat in the East Anglian derby, it will be a test of character to see how they come through these next few matches because if you recall to the last time Ipswich met Norwich and they dropped points in that game, Ipswich did have a a bit of a wobble in the following weeks after that game. They can't afford the same to happen this time around if they want to finish in the top two. After this game against Watford, Ipswich do have three really quite tricky looking games as well against Middlesbrough, Hull and Coventry. This one against Watford won't be completely straightforward either. Watford have done well in recent weeks to take points off the likes of Leeds West Brom and now Preston over the weekend as well. Been a lot more solid since Tom Cleverley's come in there. Their game at the weekend against North End wasn't the most entertaining, definitely, uh, from a neutral's point of view, ending goalless, but they do have threats who can cause Ipswich some problems in this one. In saying that, I'm going to back Ipswich to bounce back with the Portman Road crowd roaring them on maybe with another late winner in this game gonna go 2-1 apes which in that game which would be big after that we go to swansea up against stoke don't feel like they'll be all too much in this fixture in midweek with both sides maybe a little bit jaded from the weekend fair play for stoke for battling their way back into that game against west brom something that has been leveled at that stoke squad continually throughout the season has been uh, there's been a bit of a lack of character, I think is what I'd put it down for the most part. Generally speaking, when Stoke concede first in a match, they go on to lose that game. So the fact they were two goals down against West Brom to fight back into that um, at 2-2... Two -two. That's now back-to-back -back games where Stoke have come behind to get a point. It's five points from their last three matches, which certainly can't be sniffed at in the situation that Stoke are in. I do think there's a chance here for Stoke to take some points off Swansea who have looked pretty subpar since that South Wales derby. It felt like most of Swansea's season had built up to that game against Cardiff and then coming off the back of it there's been three pretty under par showings where they've only scored one goal in their last three matches now. With all that being said wouldn't be surprised if this ends level or goes one goal either way. Score prediction for me have a feeling that could be a goalless draw. Then to finish off the midweek round of fixtures with West Brom going up against Rotherham. We've known about Rotherham's impending relegation for quite some time, but it was finally confirmed over the weekend as they lost against Plymouth. Does feel like a big reset is needed for that club in League One next season. For their remaining matches now, it's all about playing for pride, but this one could be a little bit tough. They are going up against the West Brom squad who are currently on the longest unbeaten streak in the league. Albeit there have been a lot of unhelpful draws for the Bikies of late um, after being two goals up in that game against Stoke. They really should have seen it out but ended 2-2 and it now means they've drawn five of their last eight matches. And do you know what? For 
The past few months, really, we've been saying that West Brom have got that fifth spot sealed up. It no longer completely looks to be that cut and dry. We're flagging up that Coventry do have a game in hand on West Brom, which if Coventry were to win, they'd only be three points behind the baggie, so that's worth paying attention to. With all that being said, I do think this is a really good opportunity for them to get back to winning ways. The vast majority of people, I think, will be backing West Brom in this match, and for good reason. Rotherham have been miserable on the road all season season and I struggle to see past the West Brom winning this game. Score prediction for me, I'm going to go 3-0 to the Baggies. Really feel like they could do with a few goals in that one. But guys, there you have it. That will now wrap it up for today's video. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you did go into enjoy, make sure to leave a like and make sure to get all your score predictions in the comments down below. Other than that though, guys, thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you all in the next one.